Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Ryan Gard. Today, I want to talk about the brand new Tarkov patch that just dropped today, patch 0.12.11.5. This patch, honestly, is kind of a huge one that the game needed. Um, it has a lot of optimizations and bug fixes, and it lays the groundwork for a massive content patch that we'll talk about later. So, let's jump straight into it, guys. Starting with optimization and performance, the main changes that you'll see in this section was they tried to increase the performance of the game by reducing the amount of RAM that the game uses. Starting off with the made adjustments that allow to reduce the amount of consumed RAM after finishing a raid. So the game has a really big problem with memory leak and it kind of made it so if you had 8 or 16 gigs of RAM, you had to restart your game every other raid or every two raids or every five raids like or else the game would be unplayable this should really help with that issue where having the game open for multiple raids won't feel anywhere near as bad a lot of the changes are pretty much meant to help reduce that consumption of ram and they also add the enable hideout preload option so what that means is you turn on a, an option in the settings where um when you click the hideout it will just instantly bring you in there because it will have been preloaded. So you can't like hit the hideout after having your game open for so long and it'll just load and load and load and load because that, that was so annoying when you hit hideout and it would just load forever. So I'm glad that they added that and I'm excited to see how the game runs with the less RAM consumption. Hopping into the visual and graphical changes. Um, they actually changed shadow render distance. So the minimum... They, uh, the distance you can render them at is 500 meters. So, this is an interesting change because lowering your shadow render distance actually gave you quite a big FPS boost, at least for me when I did it. Um, I'm not sure how that'll affect performance at all. I'm hoping that it doesn't tank performance, but I guess we'll see over the coming weeks, and maybe they'll change it if it does. It'll be interesting to see how uh, the game plays with... The shadow distance being uh, upped a little bit because I know some areas would be really dark and for pe some people and not others depending on your shadow settings. So maybe it'll make the game a little different, I guess, playstyle wise. We'll have to see how that comes, but this could be a cool change and it could really be terrible. So I'm hoping it's not a terrible change. Uh, going over to gameplay and quality of light changes, there are some really good ones in here. Like um, they reworked the game logic of the inventory, so there's uh less errors when uh, you're in the stash moving stuff, which honestly, I love because I can't stand when I'm I'm moving stuff around in my stash, I'm cleaning my stash, making a loadout, and I get those like back end errors or error of 3000 or error moving items in stash. Like they're so annoying when you do like five or 10 minutes of work for it all to go back because the game had some like error in the stash. It's so annoying. Really glad to see that one changed. And they also added a uh, ability to change fire mode by rotation by double tapping the fire key. So this one's kind of interesting. Um, so if you have a gun that has single fire, burst fire, and uh, and full auto, you can double tap B, or I guess double tap whatever your fire mode key is, and uh, it will change from single fire to full auto. Now it's still the same number of key presses. We gotta press the fire mode key twice, but I guess it's like. It's more like consistent, so you know that you're jumping to full auto to single fire, if that makes sense. So you can kind of just skip burst fire altogether with that weapon. Um, they also added a two menu button on the first post raid screen, so you can skip all the next screens. This one is huge. I've been wanting this for a long time. It took me a while to get used to, but I'm really excited to not have to spam next all the time in the game. That'll be sick. Something cool as well is they added a check mark that lets you know if a weapon matches the mechanic task requirements. So for Gunsmith, sometimes the tasks would bug, and you'd be like, I swear I built it right, but I can't turn it in, but really you forgot to take off like a, a iron sight or you forgot to take off the mag or something. So now you will know when you look at the picture, this matches the requirements for the Gunsmith, I'm good. So that's a fantastic change. I love to see that. Um... This one's huge, actually. They added a maximum fire rate parameter for all weapons. So if this is um, done properly, this will pretty much eliminate macros from doing anything in Tarkov. So I'm not sure how uh, big this is when it comes to clicking fast. Uh, I have like 12 CPS, which isn't a lot. So I'm not sure if they're going to do something crazy or they cap it at like 5 clicks per second. Or maybe you just can't like 
go like really crazy like to the 16 17 18s i'm not sure uh i love the m1a i love clicking fast with that thing so i hope that you can still you know shoot it a little fast but obviously the the map going with it was ridiculous and i'm glad that that is taken care of and we can't do that anymore something else sick is all the broken and damaged window glass is synchronized between players even if loading into an already ongoing raid so it was really annoying sometimes when you'd be chasing somebody or you would be uh playing with friends and they would just melee a window and walk through it and the glass is still there for you on your screen it wouldn't update so they fixed that problem now glass will be updated on all sides you can see if someone breaks a window so now someone break a window and you wouldn't even hear it that will all be changed you it'll work now as properly that is phenomenal they also added a new ai technology platform which means they can expand the complexity of ai driven unit behavior later on so we actually um won't see anything this patch with that like anything new but they implant uh they intend to increase the number of scavs that we will see in the future in a single raid so that'll be cool if they can end up doing that i'm excited to see that in the future on um, they also redesigned the quest engine so uh we'll see less errors with that too less errors is always great because the errors in this game are so fucking annoying um they actually uh, also reduce the penalty of killing scavs when you have a high reps. Oh, that'll be nice if you accidentally kill a scav and you have max scav rep. You won't get uh, mopped on your uh, scav rep, which is very nice to see. Um, they also changed the quality settings of shadows and textures. So um, you can't turn on MIP streaming in a raid, which that's interesting, but it doesn't really matter that much. And um, another big thing is uh the raid session id in the bottom left is unique for every player so you can't uh tell what server a streamer is playing on i mean that one wasn't a big deal because you could just cover your code but it is interesting that like now uh i know you spilled like scab back into your own raids and be like i'm in my same raid because i got the same raid code now you can't do that it'll be different every time so i'm gonna keep in mind all right so the, for the fixed bugs all right so they, uh, they fix various object penetration fixes on locations, so usually what this means is, when they put this in the patch notes, they fixed, like, those ESP bugs. Uh, so there are bugs in the game where you can kind of stick your head through a wall and see through the whole map, like, it's, like, nothing's there and you see all the players and stuff. Typically when that's in the patch notes, that means they fix quite a few of those locations. Um, I'm hoping that is the case, because those bugs are game-breaking and they are terrible, so I hope that that is the case. Um, they also added a feature where you can, uh, prone while sprints. Well, actually, that was in the game, but it didn't work as properly. So now, uh, you can, uh, like, be prone and move fast while prone by holding the shift key. That is interesting. Um, huge one, honestly, is the game freezes when starting or handing items for a craft is, is gone. That one was annoying. I actually stopped using the hideout altogether because of this bug. I hated it so much. So I'm really hyped to see that one. Uh, the Taz KS23 actually will shoot at where you are aiming it had aiming bugs for almost the entire wipe um i mean i can't say i'm hyped about this because i kind of hate the ks23 but i mean hey the gun should work as intended and it's good that they're fixing bugs um <clears throat> so there was a bug too as well where the leaning position was not reset after moving and pressing the key again if the key was set to press so pretty much if you get toggle aim or toggle uh toggle lean it wouldn't reset properly so i'm glad that that is fixed i don't use toggle lean but i know it could be annoying for a lot of people they also 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 made uh mag drills level a little bit faster and uh something else that they did really quick was um flashlights do no longer bleed through obstacles that is phenomenal i love to see that because it was really annoying seeing flashlights through the map it kind of like let people you know people are and stuff i don't know it was kind of annoying but i am glad that uh there's that and there is one last thing that's interesting to me i didn't know about this but players can move without animation if they quickly press all the movement keys so i guess if you press all wasc you can move like without there being an animation that's interesting i don't know that was in the game but it's always fun to see little uh, fixes like that so there is no new content this patch, but this patch fixes a lot of bugs and changes the, uh, gets the game ready for the brand new Unity update for Unity 2019 that we will probably, like, almost definitely see next patch. Um, with that being said, with Unity 2019, we should see things in the future, the near future, like, uh, updates to Steam Audio, which would hopefully fix some of the vertical audio bugs in this game 
and possibly we'll be seeing that Scar H in the very soon future after this patch. I know people have been waiting for that for a long time. I'm excited for it, and I cannot wait to see it, guys. Thank you so much for listening. I uh, hope you enjoy the patch. Comment your favorite thing down below, and do me a favor and enjoy some gameplay, guys. Yeah, I mean, it's like a really good meme, but it seemed kind of overused how time like I like Kind of caught on to it. I'm not gonna cap. I could do it still. I mean like it can't I did see MLB hop on that trend. It was pretty funny. It probably could be intellect. Depends on like what it is. See, so, yeah, I haven't seen it, but it definitely could be. 